Welcome back to this video tutorial. We can continue with the console I/O operations of C language. Now we can discuss about the scanner function. Uh, when the C program needs to get input from the user, we should use the scanner function. Printf function is used for displaying something to the output screen. Similarly, the scanner function is used for getting something from the input devices, commonly from the keyboard. Okay, so the syntax for the scanner is scanner inside the parenthesis and inside the code specify this format specifier or the format string. Then put a comma here, then specify the address of the variable to which the value we need to store after receiving from the input device. Okay, so scan of inside the parenthesis, specify this format specifier as well as the address of the variable. The address of the variable indicate the location in memory in which we need to store the value which is accessed from the input device. So this semicolon indicate the end of the scan of function. So for uh, Considering the program example, we need to understand the address of the variable. That means, here we have a uh, variable declaration. And the variable var is of type cap. And it stores the ASCII value of the digit 10. Okay. So, this is the memory location in which the variable var pointing to some memory location the location has an address that is 1000 okay so this var is a character type variable so it require a single byte of memory location so this var pointing to this particular byte which is addressed by this 1002 that means every byte in our memory is assigned with a number or address value okay we don't want to memorize all these address values we need to uh, assign certain variable or name to certain memory location and use that variable name inside our program that is the method of program every byte in our memory is signed with an address value like this 1000 for this particular byte, 1001 for another byte, 1002 and so and so. Okay, we don't want to memorize all these address information. We can assign the variable to different uh, memory bytes and uh, using this variable name, we can access the value present in these memory locations. Okay, so this is the method. So, car var equal to 1 0 means inside the memory location, the location which is labeled or pointed by this variable var. There we need to store the ASCII value of digit 1 0 which is assigned here. Okay, so this particular notation ampersand var, this one actually indicate the ad, sorry. This one actually indicate the address information of the variable pointed by this variable var. Okay. So, what is the address information pointed by this label var? Here it is 1002. Okay. So, this ampersand var indicate the address value 1002 here. Okay. Next declaration is int a equal to 10. Okay, so this declaration indicates that in our memory there is a label A. So here it is the label A pointing to the memory address 10006. Okay, so this is a variable of type integer. So it uh, connect these two consecutive bytes or for an integer type variable it allowed two consecutive bytes and the byte address starting from 1006 so the variable a is actually pointing to the first byte address okay so a pointing to 1006 okay so the address of a ampersand a is actually the address information 1006 here 
okay so int a equal to 10 means assign this value 10 to a memory location which is pointed by a so a is a type of integer variable so in memory this a actually pointing to 1006 but it allowed two consecutive bytes starting from 1006 and here it stored the value 10 in its binary form okay so this is about the address of memory bytes now we can consider the program example inside the main here it is the declaration one integer type variable age and a floating point type variable weight age is of type in so it uh, allowed two consecutive bytes and age pointing to the first byte address that is 1000 here and weight is of type float so in memory it allowed four consecutive free bytes so consider these four consecutive bytes suppose weight is pointing to this particular location so address of weight actually pointing this location 1004 okay so this is the syntax of scanf scanf inside the parentheses and inside the call specify the format specifier or format string the first it is percentage d and second it is percentage f that means we need to enter an integer value first then a floating point value and the input integer value must be stored into an address location labeled by age and the second input value is a floating point type value and should be stored into a location which is labeled by or addressed by the label weight so this is the location or the starting address location which is labeled by age and this is the starting location which is labeled by the variable weight so the two input value going to store here in the location and in this location okay so while printing what will happen print age equal to percentage d slash n weight equal to percentage f slash n and comma age comma weight what will happen for age and for this particular format specifier instead of this percentage d here is substitute the first argument that is the age and for this percentage f the second uh, access specif uh, format specifier for this sorry for this percentage f here it substitute the second argument that is the data from the memory location which is labeled as weight that is the value stored here in this for okay now we can execute the program so while executing we need to enter the first the value the age value okay so sup uh, suppose the age is 10 next we need to enter the weight value suppose it is 30.5 okay so it display while executing this printf statement what will happen it display the age as 10 and weight as this one okay so this is the output of this particular statement now we can include some more print statement in order to make it the program logic more clear that is we can uh, enter one string like or statement like this enter the age right okay so we can now we can enter the age Uh, so we age and weight okay and we can enter age first and from this particular statement is it is clear that we need to enter the age and weight so we can enter age and weight the first input value should uh, move into the memory location labeled as age and the second weight value moved into a location labeled as weight while uh, executing this print statement it will display the value stored in the location labeled as age and next display the value stored in memory location labeled as weight so now we can execute this okay now it is the statement and the age and weight means it execute this print up statement now now we can input the age value first then 
the weight value. So it read the value from the keyboard and uh, while executing this print of statement it will display the result like this. Okay. Now we can uh, conclude this uh, scanf and printf IO console operation here. Okay. Thank you.